What is going on everybody? My name is Japes and welcome to today's episode of my path to power listing things in super ultra fast mode. Uh, but it's just relisting them, so it's nothing that you guys haven't already seen. Got to make some changes to the Siri Assad. I decided I was going to switch to a 4-3-3, number 4 formation that I had a little bit of success with on my main account yesterday. And then I thought, uh, maybe I'm going to just go ahead and up you know, my general players. Let's go get Iguain. He's a nice, tidy little player. Diamante. Let's spend some coins. This will be good. And then I thought... Or maybe I'll just sell them on because I really didn't have that much fun playing with them anyway. They were okay. They weren't stellar. I didn't really enjoy myself. I found myself... I don't know. There's like a certain joy to this game when you score goals with players that you are enjoying playing with. I'm not quite sure how to describe it, but on my main account, I've got some players that I really, really, really like using. And I wanted to kind of get that joy of scoring with them on this account as well. Now, I can't get the players that I have on my main account because they're pretty pricey and I don't have the coins to do that. So what I'm doing is I'm selling everybody on right here. And this is probably going to be like an hour long turnaround from flipping one team to the other team, which is not the way to go about squad building because you will not get deals. You can see 26k up at the top right. I made bits for Caceres, Diamante, uh, Iguain, and I'm just removing them from my watch list to get them out of there and make space for the league that I'm going to choose next, which is a league you guys are probably quite familiar with me playing with, and that is going to be the German Bundesliga. Now, of course, I'm not going to be able to get your Robin, your Ribery, your Schreinsteiger, and at least not off the bat. But I am able to pick up Mats Hummels, uh, Parasic, Claudio Pizarro, some decent name players. Now, Parasic, you guys are probably looking at saying, what the heck? And for left-sided players in the Bundesliga, it's kind of tough. You can go Elia, who's five-star skills, and he's probably an okay player. I'll have to pick him up and try him out. Or you can go Parasic, who's got four-star skills and five-star weak foot, 80 pace, 80 shooting, and overall is just a very, very good player to play with. Uh, he's tall as well. I think he stands six foot two, so he does the job there. Now, Pizarro, I'm going to put him in that striker spot for right now just because I don't know who I'm going to go get. Now, I actually bid on a left wing version of Perisic versus the left mid. I wasn't quite sure on how much the left mid to left wing cards were, but this was only essentially a thousand coin price bump, and I thought it, it was probably going to be about even, and I'd just rather not have to deal with it. Now, one thing that's going to be interesting is chemistry styles are actually going to be important. Now, I pick up Diego here. I think I paid 6,500 coins. He's worth every penny, as you will see uh, eventually. But uh, chemistry styles. So, well, you guys will be able to watch me building the screen or the team on the screen. I'll go through. And as the game progresses, I'll be able to name off the prices for them as I think I have them all sort of-ish memorized at this point. I know about what I paid. Uh, but chemistry styles are important. And they're starting to appear on cards on the market. But people are not listing those cards for the proper prices. The hot chemistry style, for instance, which is the striker one that gives plus, pay, plus two pace, plus two shooting, and plus two heading is like people are listing for only like a thousand more when the card itself I think sells for like 2,000 or something along those lines. You can see I put a Wiedenfeller in my watch list right there and I decided the glove is my favorite style for keepers. It helps me not get scored on from finesse shots. So I went out and I compared the price of Wiedenfeller versus with the glove style and the glove style sells for over a thousand coins as well as do most of the chemistry styles. You can see 1,400 coin bid right there. Now when I went and looked and attacked on 1,400 coins to the Wiedenfeller Feller, uh, that essentially would have put his price at 4,400 coins, which is about what he would be selling for anyway, maybe even more than that. So it was well, well worth it. And now I have a keeper with a chemistry style. Same thing. Klaasian Huntelar has the Hawk style. He sells for about 3,000 coins to begin with, but with the Hawk selling for 1,500 to 2,000 more than likely, I'm able to strike a bargain here at essentially putting a Hawk card on him for just 1,000 coins more. Now, El Sharawi sold, and I'm up to quite a nice coin total. I'm trying to pick up Thomas Muller because when I was at the event, Thomas Muller had just a an amazing shot on him and he's a Byron player so hey why not right 7,500 coins, guess what? I tried to get the one with the sniper, and in fact, I was like, ah, he goes for about 7,000, 7,500 to begin with, but the sniper card I wanted, plus three dribbling, plus three shooting, I wanted that on my guy, so I bought Muller for 8,500, so I'm paying a little bit more for some of these cards, but I think the increase in the certain stats is actually worth it for me. I find chemistry styles to be very, very useful, so... 
If you guys haven't had a play with them yet and you have some in your club, play them on some of the players that you already like and see if you can notice a difference or play them on some players that you don't like but that are worth a decent amount and will resell and see if you can notice a difference. And if not, sell them on the market, but make sure you check to see what the chemistry style sells for so that you do not misprice your players. Now, I'm going into a season match. I think we're chilling in Division 9. You can see the team on the screen. Thomas Muller, 8,500 coins. Clash on Huntelar, 4,000 coins. Diego, 6,500 coins. Sahin, I think I played paid uh, 1,500 for. Same with Lars Bender. And I actually find Lars to be the better bender for the most part. Obviously, Sven plays for Borussia Dortmund. Lars for Bayer Leverkusen. Tom, rap. Oh, no, never mind. That's going right in. And there is the sniper chemistry style. Lovely goal from Thomas Muller. That, now, that's not to say that he wouldn't have scored it to begin with, but... I like to think that the increased stats had something to do with it. I was really bummed because I was like, oh, I got this on target. Oh, wait, never mind. It's going in anyway. Mats Hummels at the back paid about 10,000 coins for him worth every penny. Six foot four. Uh, I think he's got 65 sprint speed, which is fine on this game, but about 85 defending and 86 heading, which makes him just a machine at the back. If you guys are a Bundesliga or German team or trying to form some sort of hybrid, he would be a good shout to get in there. Diego, lovely pass over the top to Huntelar, the hunter, and he puts it away. 51st minute, Diego's passing is amazing. His dribbling is really good. His shooting is strong. His positioning is good. And as the attacking mid in this 4-3-3, He's just a very, very nice player to, to play with. Now, I felt like I got super lucky right here. I could not believe that this was a penalty. Referee, what game are you watching? But regardless, it was in my favor, so only one thing to do, and that is to step up to the spot and bury this one away. Now, the Huntelar, as well as Muller and Diego, all pretty good, but I decided in my head, for whatever reason, that Diego was going to be my set-piece taker, and he tucks it away, no problem right there, catching a little bit of the top net, the best net. Uh, so, 4-0, the final score in that one, pretty darn convincing win. And at this point, I am feeling much, much better about this team than I was about my Serie A team. Now, I had to go into the Champion Shield because I just could not match up with anybody in seasons. Everybody would leave. It would be, say, opponent wasn't found, all things of this nature. So I headed on into the tournament. This is the first round. He had a Mexican silver gold team, and we cross it in, and it's big Parasic nodding it away. Remember, he's a winger that stands six foot two with the ball control, the five-star weak foot, and he can nod home a header as well. Very nice non-rare and very well-rounded player uh, is Parasic. Now, Diego's going to pick this one up in midfield. Fine, Paris is a little lucky there, but Bender on the ref. Surely that's got to be a red. That was a goal-scoring opportunity, and he's going to give me a yellow. And I thought, oh, come on, I hadn't scored a free kick yet on this game. At least get him off. But then I remembered I had Diego. Straight up, straight down, just about two and a half bars, and voila, we have a goal from a free kick in this game. Fantastic player. If you're using a 4 3 th or a Brazilian side as well, I recommend him giving a shout if you're not interested in any of the five-star skilled Brazilian attacking mids. Here we go. Bender inside to Parasic. Parasic, nice little bit of work. The fake step over, like you're going to cut, just seems to throw people off more than anything else. Going to cut this one back to Huntelar. Huntelar, that's a little finesse shot first time, which you just never, ever could get away with on other games. But because of how strong the right bumper is with shooting on this game, we're going to tuck that one away nicely and give ourselves quite a comfortable lead. As you guys know, I struggled to use silver players successfully. This guy was actually pretty good with it, but I was just able to kind of bully him. So 3-0 right now. Uh, Diego drops all the way back, switches the point of attack. Parasic, Huntelar, Huntelar, Parasic. You can see at the bottom of the screen, Thomas Muller trailing in, going to slide him in on through. He brings the goalkeeper out and oh yes, I will have that chip. Absolutely. 90th minute goal and we'll watch that one back one more time as it is a little bit of a, uh, a sweet, sweet thing to chip the keeper like that. Anyways, guys, as we progressed here, the game is actually going to freeze, which you're going to see on the screen. So I don't know whether I got the win or loss for that. Tune in next time to check out and see. I actually do. I haven't checked it yet. I'm really reluctant to because I don't want to see if I got a loss. I'm going to be so bummed about it. This game freezes all the time. EA, please. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, a like or thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. It really does indeed help me out. Other than that, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.